Hey there, friends. Welcome to some more Return to Zork. Possibly the last one. Not too sure yet. But we're back at the Ancient Ruins, and as I mentioned before, I forgot something. We need to go to the lighthouse first for one tiny, itty, bitty, game-breaking reason. If I hadn't done it, I couldn't have gotten anywhere. I need to ask him about the disc pieces. I can't believe you've got that. Look, look. I've got a piece, too. Here. You should take that across the river to the Holy Woman at Belnir Temple. Nah, we've already been there, so we don't need to. But we have a full broken disc, which is a dog catching a frisbee. How about that? <laughs> Let's end the conversation and head back to the ruins. Now, these were actually mentioned earlier in the game. Let's see if we can find them. Uh, ancient ruins. There's six... There's a shrine to six... There's a shrine to six muses... To the six muses of the arts. That's who these are. And then there's one in the middle for some reason. However... Each one of these statues needs something that we have in our inventory. There's... I'm missing an item. Huh. Maybe not. We'll see. That guy takes the shield. I think that guy has the stick. This guy needs the helmet and the box. No, the, the box. Um... I know, I think someone gets the return talon. I know someone gets the thermos. This last one gets... What does he get? Ah, uh, good question. I am not too sure. Um... I guess he gets the orb. Okay. I, was, I don't remember what the middle one gets. Um, however, we put the dicks. The dicks. Disc. Disc. Pieces in the trencher. And then we hit. Are you ready for this? It's going to happen really fast. The green button. Boink. Yay. Here we go. The flying disc of Frobos has been forged. That's noteworthy. Apparently that's noteworthy. Now, we can take back all the things, which we don't have to, but I will. Because why not? I guess we could take the box, too. Did we put the box? Yeah, we did. Let's get the thermos. That. The return talon. And the, the stick. But most importantly, 
the Froboz disc. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. It is the reforged flying disc of Froboz. We have it. Now we have to do a bunch of other things. Yay. Let's use our map, trusty little map map, and go to East Shanbar. Actually, we could have went to New West Shanbar. There you are. Oh, hey. We never built the library because the mayor's files were so entertaining. Good to know. I'm uh, a little busy, but I do have to ask you about something. See if you know about nothing. Okay. What about this one? Okay. Never mind then. You're useless. Goodbye. Peace out. Deuces. I can sense that your sword is glowing blue. How do you... Oh, it is. It, it, it's glowing blue, alright. It's very blue. It's blue-esque in nature. Blue-ish. Remember the L-U-D, which stands for left, up, down. We need to know that because of right now. However, I think I showed you what happens when you go in there. You die. It's fair enough. Let's save under disk. I don't know why. Why not? You die because there's no light. And what you need to do is there's a helmet. You need to wear the helmet, and the headlight is on. Now, we need to pick up the sword, because we can go this way. We're inside the tunnel. And there's a troll guard. And he's doing some ninja karate. Or something. But, we have all these swings. We can swing up, swing right, swing down, swing left, throw the sword, or examine the sword. These are the only things in the game that you can actually kill. But you have to swing the right direction. So we swing left. Keep going. Another troll guard dressed like a revolutionary soldier. We're gonna swing up. And finally, uh, the, the sound glitches are like really apparent to it right now. Swing down! No more troll guards, we're done! However, there's one more thing we need to do. And it's actually really funny. Invader, so you made it this far. You may have killed my brother trolls, but you won't kill me. You're right. Um, I won't. Can I take your picture? I can. Sweet. And I'm going to save it under disk. And I'm actually going to reload it. Hopefully, I wonder if that'll like reset the sound or something. Hopefully, it does. We'll see. So there's just the troll leader here. We need to talk to him. We could ask him some stuff, but I don't think it works. Like, well, let's see. Let's ask him about the photos. You expect him to know? Um, let's see. Does he, what does he know about himself? <laughs> he laughed. I don't know. Maybe he knows about things. Oh, is that the only one? I want to hear him say more things. Nope. Not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. How about items? What about that one? Nope. That one? Uh. That one? That one! Wait! Wait! No! No! Spare me! I'll give you this necklace. It has magical powers. Magical powers! Just don't hurt me. 
What? Okay. So we need to talk to him. I don't know what powers you possess. And we need to threaten him. But you're no match for me. You'll never get out of here alive. Wait, wait. No, no. Spare me. I'll give you this necklace. It has magical powers. Magical powers. Just don't hurt me. And he leaves with his shame. We have the necklace of fear, which we actually need. And uh, yeah, that, that's honestly it. That's all we need to do here. Uh, that's it. Just need to leave. We did good job, GG. And now I'm gonna take off the helmet. Like if I can take off the helmet, that'd be great. That'd be great. That'd be great. Can't take off the helmet yet. Great. Whatever. We'll leave it on. I don't care. Uh, so we have the fear necklace, and now we need. I don't want to go back there. I don't want to. <sighs> Okay. I don't know if I showed this last. No, I think it was one of the the thing screwed up on me and I couldn't. Anyway, we need to go back to the forest of the spirits, and I'm just gonna go there really quick. We need to go north, north, west, south, west, north, north. West, west, north, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five easts, one, two, three, four, five, south and then east, I'm going to save it here. Please, no. No! I think the game screwed up on me. Give me just a moment. Boop. And we're back. Hopefully. Hopefully. So let's go east. No, we're not in the right spot. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. That's leaf trap. East. North, north, north. West, north, three, four, three west, or four west? Four west, one, two, three, four. South, two west, one north, two west. Okay, now we should be able, when we go here, we are there. The last place in the stupid, stupid, stupid forest. There's a spider. We can take a picture. And I'm actually going to save it again after I take the picture because I don't want to have to do this again. So we can pick up the sword, and we can show it. Like, hey, look, spider. We can strike it, and it's gonna come kill us. <laughs> the 
the fangs of death are fearless. They are. Now, we just got a new item, which is the ne fear necklace. So what we're going to do is actually uh, pick that up. Show it to the spider. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you're scared, aren't you? Aren't you? And we're going to pick up the sword. Got open the road, which leads us to flood control dam number three. Sweet. Now this is the backside of the water. Now remember, long ago, water unseen at falls. Mixed with bat dropping yields potion for invisibility. Well, we just happen to have a flask filled with not guano. Tell me I put the guano in there. I did, didn't I? Yeah, okay, we did. I was I don't know what I was about to do if that screwed up. I this this game has been finicky as hell. <sighs> We've got the bat guano. We have the blue potion. We're pretty much ready to go to finish this game almost. We need to head to We need to find the um the wall of illusion. Now if we turn around we can actually go left. How about that? Interesting, right? Let's go ahead and save it. Go left. What's this? We've seen this before. We have a photo of this. Two photos. Interesting. But the path is blocked. Hmm. You know the only way to uh break the wall of illusion was with the disc. You ready? We have shattered the wall of illusion. We have shattered it. And let's save. And we're going to. Yay! Here we go. Are you ready? I know I am. Bom bom bom! One last thing to do. What is pretty much the only items we haven't used yet? Yep, the bow and the arrow. Well, our... I mean, can I... Do I use the bow automatically? No, okay, um... Shoot arrow at hand! That sound is annoying. Wow, that sound is annoying. We're at the Citadel of Zork. I'm going to save it one more time. Why? Because why the hell not? Here we go. What do you th you ready for this? This epic last encounter? What are we going to do? Are we going to have a fight? Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, no. Never mind. There's an orc leader. We have to get past him. Forgot about that. There's an orc leader. And this is one of the more obscure things. We actually do have one more thing that we haven't used yet. Which is the flask with the blue potion. Well, pick up the flask. We're gonna drink it. He seems just confused. 
Now this is the the weirdest thing that you would ever have to know is to play the dog. That's why this whole that's why the dog has one track. And uh yeah, he looked frightened all right. He shrugged and walked away. That is super frightening. Now, now we're on to the last epic battle. Will we have to use the sword and crush him? Let's find out. Never mind, we're not at the last epic battle. Ah, <sighs> uh, so we have a bridge. I keep forgetting about things and it's making my... Uh, let's try and cross it. <laughs> nah, we're dead. We're dead. Morpheus's favorite crispy critter, heavily fried in deep oil. Well, how are we supposed to get across this area then? We have nothing else to use. Or do we? Continue downloading inventory. What? The bridge is falling down. Why is the bridge falling down? That doesn't make any sense. Falling down one. Oh, I don't want to drink it. I don't want to throw it. Ah! Uh. <laughs> I gotta do all that again. This game. This game. Oh my god. Oh boy. You have to click. Just, just click right on it. So the whole point is you have to keep throwing your stuff on there until the bridge ends up on the other side. <sighs> Make sure you're targeting the bridge when you throw stuff. Yep. All right. Now make sure we're actually targeting the bridge. And don't click the forward. Oh, we'll get it. Have we made progress? We've made progress. Yeah, I won't throw that. Oh, I definitely will throw that. You go away. Now it's making all sorts of weird, funny noises. Of course the bridge is rising up. Can we please hurry up? I don't... I don't... Throw. Oh my god, how much more stuff do I have to throw? You pretty much have to unload your entire inventory. Just telling you that now. Which really makes you wonder what you're gonna do for the last fight now that you think about it, right? Because, while well, you're unloading your entire frickin' inventory. Trust me, it gets stupid. There! The bridge is now safe for crossing now that we've actually have nothing else to use. Right? Well, let's go across. Let's do it. Welcome to my gallery. Perhaps you know some of my collection. This is my research laboratory. And these are my subjects. I have studied them all and have taken the best from each. 
Of you, I will take strategy. We will play survivor. You may play the wizard Trimbile's role. I will play Canuck. Your move. Yeah. Um, we end this with... Um... Yeah, Survivor. Yeah. Yep. This is the last fight, folks. The last fight. So, this is actually not easy. <laughs> because you actually have to follow a set pattern. Which means I could probably screw this up a bajillion. Oh, actually, no, right now. It actually has the, uh. The, uh, the, the names of the squares. So I can't screw this up. So, we're at A1. And we need to move to B3. Now, you have to remember. I missed that. Uh, that's what I say, you're gonna move, bro? Uh, we can actually something that Mudok didn't do when we when we played him as the wizard. You can skip your turn, which is a, something you actually need to think about doing if you want to win. Uh, we want to go to C2. See, he's on C2. That's where we want to go. We're going to pass our turn. <laughs> I think you are in trouble. Yeah, this isn't a big payoff for what yeah, for the for the, all the the wandering around. But Think at least put something in the game that you think is not necessarily going to be a big part of the game in there. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Uh oh. Come on, move. Why? Why do you got to keep going to the places I need to go? <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you. Clever. If he goes there next, I'm going to punch him in his face. Nope, oh, thank you. Clever. Clever. Clever girl. He looks angry. You went there. You went there. Good move. I know, because I know what I'm doing, and you're just going to follow a set pattern, so it's fine. Not very smart. No, you're right. I, mean, I do have issues, but why do you have to keep bringing them up? I thought you loved me. You asshole. Go, <laughs> oh, give me my spot. <laughs> yeah, I laugh at this. You didn't see me grab my crotch, but I did. Uh, okay, now we're going to go to B2. <laughs> Please don't go here. 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 Sweet. Sweet. Now, don't Not go here. Smart. Actually, you're probably going to go there because that's the only place I can go. And I'm gonna pass. <laughs> and I pass. And I pass. It's actually the most boring way <laughs> to end the game. <laughs> hmm. He's gonna go here because I asked where I'm gonna go next, so I have to be ready to pass. Yep, there we go. Uh-oh. 
Yep, now move out of my way, punk. Very interesting. I'm gonna go here, then here, then there, then there. Probably. I don't know. Um, B1, A3. And then... Good move. C4, and then D2. Now, no, I'm passing. Hmm. Yeah, you don't got much to think about, buddy. Uh oh. He's gonna move forward. I'm gonna pass. He's gonna move back, and then I'm gonna move forward, and then he's screwed. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Because I've just won. I've just laid it the smacketh down on your candy ass, and I win. You cheated. No. Left. I never lose. Well, you lost. You lost. I never lose. I are you taking the big poop? Anger issues. Anger issues. I have no clue what we're doing now. Yeah, I, I saw that. As Morpheus's terrible shriek of defeat echoes through the Citadel. He loses grasp of his confining spell, freeing your friends from their stone imprisonment. Which, why he did that? The followers of good magic cast long forgotten spells to disperse the vile creature Morpheus. The events you triggered will be remembered as the second great diffusion. Okay. Throughout the valley and underground, evil magic has vanished. Memories of the enchanted empire under the valley of the sparrows make you realize that this legendary world is where you belong. Yay, so we live there, freed from the reins of evil magic. Everyone in the great underground empire will always remember you and wave for your intellect and perseverance and waving. More waving. And more waving. And finally, you meet Rupert. in this upstairs naked powder room. Ah, the master strategist. You have to teach me the final points of Survivor. <laughs> Gee, did that guy's laugh sound kind of like Morpheus? I don't know. Maybe. So that was Return to Zork. Great game. Great game. Bad payoff. I always have said the payoff of this game is terrible. But the game is pretty awesome in its own right. I, I enjoy it. Brings me brings back a lot of memories of playing it as a younger version of myself with not knowing what to do at all. I didn't really have to use any notes for this game. Um, oh, just popped my knuckles. Dumped it. Um, I had to use definitely use maps for like the forests and stuff. Now the bog was the pain in the ass because there's no maps for it, and that was just no. That was no, no whatsoever. I actually did try to do the the slide puzzle till the last second when I missed that the ba the water piece went all the way up to the top. I cried a little inside. That's what I used to kite. I was like, I was doing it. And then no. No. But uh that was Return to Zork, everybody. We missed 
five points. No clue where. None. But there it is. Return to Zork. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I did. For all of its little tweaks and things I had to do. It, you know, it was a, it's a great game. It, and that actually concludes our full motion trilogy of, Retur of Zork. Uh, actually kind of sad. They're great games. All of them. Feel free to check them out. Or not. It's up to you. <laughs> but till the next playthrough, friends, you all take care. And of course, have a good one. Ha 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 ha